I can't believe it's already been a year and now it's time for the conference again. I have to say, I've been way overthinking what I'm gonna wear. I've, I've shopped at so many places. Guess where I am. My alarm didn't ring this morning, so um, yeah, I got up an hour <laughs> later than I should have, but I still made it onto my flight, and now I'm at the hotel. I have pretty much the same room as last time. The mixture, I think, starts at like seven, no, 5.30. I am starving. Last time I came, I ended up going to a salad place that's nearby, and it was, um, it's just so hot. So I think I'm gonna try and walk now before it gets like extremely hot and um, and then I can't bear it. I feel so much less lost than last year. Last year since it was my first time. I didn't know where the hotel was. I almost went to the wrong hotel. I didn't know where to go eat. It's not as hot today and um, I'm just going to the same place that I went last time which is a tiny little place, walking distance, like 10 minutes, um, that sells a bunch of salads and juices for a really good price. There's a shopping area close by, right next to the food, and I'm so tempted to go because both days of the conference, I'm wearing like these khaki pants, and I kind of want something different. Am I gonna go shopping again? I do have five hours. I have five whole hours, because today, day one, is just the mixer. There's one mixer for everybody and then tomorrow's really when like all the classes and stuff starts. It really feels like deja vu so far just because the room is like pretty much the same. I ate pretty much the same food, same flight. But I am really excited to see what the big differences are in the actual conference. The things I learned, the people I meet, and I think the, the VIP mixer is gonna be a huge difference. Just because in the mixer last year, I didn't really meet uh, other people other than actors. I think I met maybe like a casting director or two, but that was pretty much it. I'm really grateful and excited to be here again um, and to learn and meet people and just do the whole experience. Last year, when I was getting ready, I was trying to think about like, what is my goal like this weekend? What's my expectation? So I should do that again. I should figure out what I want my like goal to be. And um, what immediately comes to mind is getting representation in LA and getting an agent manager whatever in LA because um, like a lot of stuff has happened in my personal life and I just feel like I've slowed down my acting a lot and I really need to make a decision if I can and should I know I should I need the money like keep the day job that I have right now it's just I do feel a little today like I, I don't know if it's the travel if it's because I'm by myself and I'm such an extrovert like I get energy from other people but I do just feel like a bit down in general. Maybe it's because I haven't accomplished much since I was here last and I wish I had. That's definitely one of them. That's like one of the things that makes me feel down. And another thing is that like my day job, I think it's fine and all. Like I, I really don't hate it so much because there was a little while there where it was a little bit rough and I was just like, what am I doing here? What I thought was a flexible manager ended up being not being that at all. At least like we have different definitions of it. And then just feeling like, damn, I wish I could spend like eight hours a day again on acting instead of doing the day job, which I mean, like, of course everybody wants that. I can't let what I'm feeling put me down this weekend because I know I'm gonna have so much fun. I know this weekend is gonna be a lot of fun and um, thinking about all of those things that are stressing me out right now is not helpful. This weekend, I just want to just meet a bunch of people, make connections because a lot of these mixers are essentially like you meeting potential future coworkers. So that's what I want. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of actors here that are also producers, filmmakers, things like that. Um, and I have made a lot of friends like that. And it's just so much fun to make films, even if we have to like make it for nothing or a tiny little bit of money. Like it's so much fun. Oh, 
And I do have something exciting. Bella asked me to be part of the keynote. So she sent me a scene and she asked me to memorize it. And then I think she's gonna do some kind of uh, like mock audition as if I was auditioning. So I'm gonna do it once and then she's gonna give me some feedback and then I'll do it again. It'll be like a presentation type of thing. So I get to be part of the conference this year, which is pretty fun. When Bella messaged me about it, I was on vacation, so I, I did like a super quick, short answer, like, yeah, I'd love to do it. Obviously, she needs to ask somebody that she trusts because she doesn't want somebody to embarrass her and like not memorize the lines or whatever, even though it's like one page, it's super short. I memorized it, I think, in like seven minutes or something because it is really short. It's like seven, eight lines. But that's something really exciting and different from last year that she's gonna pull people up uh, for the keto. I'm assuming there's gonna be one other person because in the scene, obviously there's two people. It's a scene, it would be a monologue if it was just one person. So I'm just gonna focus on having fun and enjoying my time here. Last year there was a lot of information that since I've been acting for a long time, I already knew. So there were like little nuggets that I got here and there that definitely changed my perspective on a lot of things. So I just hope that there's more of that. I hope that there's um, more little nuggets that I can learn from. And I know that this year there's different kinds of people coming too, like, uh, like a producer, filmmaker, something like that coming. I'm also excited to see what's in the goodie bag this year, the little VIP bag. Last year there was actually a lot of like really good discounts for things that we already use, like We Audition and Casting Networks and things like that. Okay, I'm ready. Now I need to get dressed to go. Okay, um, this dress looks way better now that I'm like all dressed up. It's not too long, it's perfect. Also, why am I overthinking so much what I'm wearing? Like, it's really not that big of a deal. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. 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 talking to mostly agents. I talked to like four different agents, a few actors, and then somebody who's doing one of the workshops tomorrow, one of the commercial workshops. As I was checking in when I was waiting in line, I also started talking to Angie, who is an agent here in Arizona. And she asked me if I was represented and she said no, and that we should talk. So I'm gonna talk to her. I'm gonna talk to two different agencies about getting represented in the um, Arizona market, which is nice. And then another agent is doing, uh, Hollywood in the desert, like um, actor showcases for people in Arizona on Zoom and then a couple of actors. I definitely talked to less people this year. I think I got less Instagrams of people, but I feel like I made really good connections as far as like talking. And I saw my friend Falabi who I met last year and last year we both got VIP tickets. So we sat next to each other because when you have a VIP ticket, you can sit at the front row. And um, so we're gonna sit next to each other again. <laughs> and I met my scene partner for tomorrow. So tomorrow for the part of the keynote that I'm in, it's a scene and one of them is gonna be, one of the takes is gonna be as if I'm doing a self tape. And then the other one, it's gonna be like a callback. So it'll be like <clears throat> us actually being able to talk to each other and like act together in the scene. But I met my scene partner, Trevor. And then I was like, tomorrow during breakfast, like if you wanna come downstairs and have breakfast together and run some lines. But now I'm gonna go work on that scene for a little bit. My life. Career versus romance. I'm lost. Yeah.